dealing with the um, the bones of the skull. Now we're going to do the facial and jaw bones. There are 14 uh, face and jaw bones. Remember, there were eight in the the uh, cranium, so it gives us 22 bones of the skull. We're going to have two maxilla bones, maxilla, two zygomatic, two lacrimal, two nasal, two palatine, and two turbinate, or sometimes called inferior uh, nasal conchae. Um, We'll come back to those. Those are paired up. There's two because they're just to right and left. I'm only going to show one, and you just have to make the, the leap to the other side. There's one bone called a, a vomer and a, one mandible that you'd refer to as your jaw. So we'll go over that. I'm going to take the jaw off my little friend because it always falls apart. So we're going to go right in on the face. Now the orbit, uh, or the eye socket, is formed. Uh, these are where your eyes rest, and we'll go over that in a little more detail later. The orbit is formed by several bones, okay? The, the frontal bone and the um, sphenoid bone will give the roof and kind of the posterior uh, aspect. The floor of the orbit is going to be made up of a junction between the um, zygomatic, the sphenoid, and the maxilla. They all come together in these little joints here. Okay? The medial portion of the eye socket has a tiny little bone which is not really well shown on this model let me see the other side but it's called the lacrimal bone and it's right here okay, the lacrimal bone um, is that medial portion like if you pinched the bridge of your nose between your eyes you'd be on the lacrimal bone the the bridge of your nose is actually formed of these two bones the right and the left nasal bone okay, so those are little tiny bones the lacrimal bones form that medial wall of your orbit, and the nasal bones, uh, bones the uh, bridge of your nose. This zygomatic bone out here has a um, kind of a tripod. It's got an articulation with the uh, sphenoid and the frontal bone, and it articulates with the zygomatic process of the temporal bone, and then it's going to articulate with the maxilla, or your basically your cheek and upper jaw bone. Right, so you can press on your cheek and upper jaw, uh, just anterior to or medial to your cheekbone, and you'll feel that face bone. That's the maxilla. Right? Now, um, inside the nose or the nasal cavity, you've got these little, these little shelves on the side, little shelves of bone. Right? Those um, middle and superior nasal concha or turbinate bones are part of this, the uh, sphenoid uh, that we talked about in the other bone. We'll get to those. But these large bottom shelves are called, they articulate with the maxilla and they form the inferior nasal turbinate bones. We'll talk about the purpose of the turbinates, those little shelves in there uh, later. And then you'll see a large bone that runs right up the center and articulates with that perpendicular plate of the ethmoid. That's called the vomer bone. Right? Vomer uh, rhymes with gomer, uh, looks like uh, like a plow, and that's kind of where it came from. Vomer, uh, same root as vomit, because the, the plow would throw up the earth. So that's the vomer bone. If we tip this up, so the skull is looking upward, and we're going to see the roof of the mouth, those are your palatine bones, your hard palate. Okay? They're going to continue with the soft palate, the soft palate articulate with the, the palatine bones, the roof of your mouth. And you'll see that the vomer kind of rises up from the top of the palatine, um, articulates with the palatines from underneath. Uh, this is an interesting look at your upper jaw, or the upper portion of your jaw, which doesn't move when you chew, just your lower jaw moves. And you can see where your teeth are. Typically, you'd start at the uh, upper right. This one doesn't have wisdom teeth, but you would start there, one, the wisdom tooth, then two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, the upper left wisdom tooth. And then you go down to the lower left and start counting back up and around so you get all 32 teeth. And they're always numbered like that, starting in the upper right rear. And they move around the arch to the left upper rear, then down to the lower left rear and come around that arch to end up in the right. So that's how we count the teeth. Okay. And they're going to come right out of the maxilla, right, your face bone. Now, the one we have left is uh, the mandible, right? Your mandible. So this is your lower jaw. This is the one that's going to move, right, and help you chew. Same thing, we came around to the left, and then you start here and you'd count your teeth around so you could describe which tooth 
Also no wisdom teeth in this model. So you've got the body of your mandible. And then from the side, and just for demonstration purposes, you can see where the, the jaw sits relative to the skull. It sits in that little mandibular fossa of the temporal bone that we showed in one of the other videos, just anterior to the styloid process of the temporal bone. So your mandible, your lower jaw, has the body. And then as you come back here, you've got the angle of your mandible. That's that back corner of your jaw. Um, we'll come back about uh, another couple videos and talk about all the soft tissue structures around here. The body, you get the mental foramen. And um, this is the angle of the jaw, and this is the mandibular uh, ramus. Right? And then you got these two little projections at the top that articulate with the rest of the skull. The posterior one toward the back, this one, there's the neck and then the head. Right? It's a little neck and then the head. And this head is called the condyloid process. Condyloid. And this one in front is called the coronoid process. So the anterior one is the coronoid process. And this one is the condyloid process, which is the head, just past the neck, which is on the ramus, or that uh, the part of the jaw that runs up the back of your jaw. And then there's the angle of the mandible, the body of the mandible. All right, so those are the bones of the face and jaw. We'll go back over those in some other videos, uh, one at a time with some details when we do the soft structure or nerves. We'll do another video on all of the openings in the inferior aspect of the skull, which are transversed, traversed by um, vascular structures and neural structures galore. And all those little holes have names, so we'll come back to those in a bit.